Ready? I gotta put on my glasses. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, viewer mail. Uh, we're in the Garden Fork Central here. A little warm. I bit my tongue, so I'm kind of like stepping on my tongue. But I'm gonna persevere and I even have some notes for you here. First of all, a big thank you to those of you that particip are participating in our Patreon campaign. If you're interested in becoming a monthly supporter, there's a link below in the show notes here about that. Thank you very much. Gotta hydrate. I even made notes today. So first off, a little shout out to Clean Slate Farm. If you're looking for another interesting YouTube channel, has kind of garden forky stuff, check out Dave's channel. Uh, we've been emailing and talking and kind of trading tips and stuff. He does beekeeping and gardening and cooking, and he is actually a full-time chef. So he actually knows what he's doing, much different than Garden Fork here, but you know how that works. I'm trying not to say um as much, and I'm trying not to say all right as much, but when I'm kind of going, it just goes. I don't know if you're into the Foo Fighters, but this is a really cool video. So this guy in Italy wanted the Foo Fighters to come to his town to play a concert. So he got together a bunch of amateur musicians to play a tribute song to the Foo Fighters, asking them to come. He put all together with his friends and I was really moved by it. I thought it was really cool. Just a bunch of people enjoying themselves playing a cool song. And I liked it because it shows the kind of, not necessarily just the power of one, but the power of a small group or one person using the internet for good. I mean, there's a lot of icky stuff out there in the world. And this was something really cool. I don't know if the Foo Fighters will play in that Italian town, but it was just neat to look, just basically people enjoying themselves playing a song. I've never seen that many drummers in one place ever, but it was, it was cool. And the link will be below, of course, but check that out. Uh, a really popular video on our YouTube channel is how to drill into brick or cement. If you want to hang shelves or televisions or in Kelly's case, her boyfriend's guitars. And she asks, I wanted to ask if there's a rule whether you should drill into the brick versus the mortar. I watched another video that said to drill into the mortar and your video said it was in the brick. I think if you drill into the mortar between bricks or between cement block, you're asking for trouble. And this is why, um, the mortar can dry out. It can become weak. It can be, not very well put in in the first place and the screw that you're putting in there will fall out or pull out and that could be a bad thing. The brick or the cement block isn't going anywhere and if you drill into it correctly, if you watch our video and you learn that, put in a nice anchor, put in your screws, you're good to go. Our bacon wrapped grilled cheese sandwich is trending on YouTube, believe it or not. Well, trending at least for Garden Fork. Um, I think it's got like 30 or 40,000 views. 31,000 maybe, and that's a huge number for Garden Fork. Really cool there. And a bunch of fun comments. One of them says, animal cruelty, how can you deny those faces? Uh, I, in the video, I didn't give the puppies any of the bacon sandwich, but you rest assured, after we turned the camera off, they had plenty of bacon wrapped grilled cheese because you can't eat the whole thing yourself. It's that rich. I mean, I had some of it, camera operator enjoyed some, and then you know who enjoyed the rest. I forgot to tell you about this, but Garden Fork has a audio podcast, you know, podcasts of the new cupcake, you know, and uh, we've had a podcast for quite a long time. There are 260 episodes of Garden Fork Radio. There's a link below. You can also just go to iTunes and type in Garden Fork Radio and it'll show up. And if you happen to listen to it and like it, would you write us a review on iTunes? You have to use your uh, laptop or computer for that. It doesn't work on the phone, unfortunately, but a review there always helps. All right. So that concludes viewer mail. Always like to hear from you guys. If you have ideas for shows or suggestions on things, uh, right below in the show notes here. And of course, let me know what you're doing. Tell your friends about the show. It's the best way to spread the word. So make it a great day. I'll see y'all later.